this movie we'll have a little intro to Apollo. We will take a look at downloading the all the things you got to download to install Apollo and building your first Apollo application. Yep, we'll do it all in one movie. Promise. First, what is Apollo? Apollo is a very cool technology that enables you to basically build uh, RIAs or rich internet applications, kind of like Flash programs or Ajax stuff that are deployed on the desktop. So I can you can create desktop applications that are deployed using the Flash player. And you do that using Flex. So the first thing you'll actually have to download is uh, Adobe Flex Builder 2. You can go to the Adobe website and do a search on Flex 2 and just download that. And then you'll have to come to this website, which is labs.adobe.com. And once you're there, you need to upgrade your Flex. And after you install Flex, you got to upgrade to Flex 2.0.1. And then you can work with Apollo. So uh, that's a very crucial step in working with Apollo. So just make sure that you install Flex 2.0.1. So if you already had Flex installed, make sure you're running that version. You're on labs.adobe.com and just find Apollo. If it's not on the home page like it is today, you can just do a search for it. And there are two links. One says download install Apollo and one says downloaded Apollo developer tools. So there are actually two things that you need after you have the latest version of Flex in order to install Apollo. So first thing is called the Apollo runtime. That will happen if you click this link right here. I already clicked it so you won't have to wait for my uh, wonderful internet connection to download this page. So you click that, you gotta check a checkbox and everything and then you want to either download for Windows or Mac and you click the buttons at the bottom of the screen. So just make sure you uh, check that box if you want to download them. Okay so when you download the Apollo runtime uh, it just installs Apollo into your computer. You never will actually run Apollo it's just something that works with uh, Flex and everything when your Apollo applications are running. So you actually do not need to use to ever open the file. Just open it up, install it, um, install it anywhere. It doesn't really matter. The, the other thing is a little bit more crucial. So let's go back to the home page of labs.adobe.com. Then you'll click the Download Apollo Developer Tools and go there. And what you want to download next, rather what you want to download and install next, is the Apollo extension for Flex 2. So to find that you'll have to scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page and then you'll see Apollo extension for Adobe Flex Builder 2.0.1 another reminder that you need that version okay click download for Windows or download for Mac so once you download that you have the, the file and I have it downloaded right here and so you double click the file and then this whole thing opens, prepares to install. And I already have it installed on my computer, so I don't want to kind of over install it. So I'm just going to click cancel. But basically that happens, and, and a menu pops up. And the really important thing you want to note is when you're installing the Apollo extensions, you need to install it where the Flex SDK is installed. So by def if you installed Flex into the, the default folder when you open up the installer, then you can also install the Apollo extensions into the default folder. So that's what actually what I recommend doing. So install Flex to the default folder, install Apollo to the default folder. Then it'll work nice and easy. So that's a look at installing Apollo. Once it's installed, just launch Flex Builder 2, and I have it open already. And it might look something like this. And to create a new Apollo project, click File, New, and then if you see Apollo Project, right under Flex Project, then everything went well. If you don't see that, then you might have to um, reinstall them or uh, make sure where you install the Apollo extensions. That's probably going to be the problem if you run into one. Uh, you can pause the movie and kind of go back and forth and everything to check. So we want to create a new Apollo Project. And if you're familiar with Flex, this actually is pretty much exactly the same. It's, it's very, very simple. So I'm going to choose Basic. So click Next. And we got to give this a project name. So I'm going to call this Apollo underscore test. Okay. I'm going to go to the desktop. Okay. I'm actually just going to use the location that's in here. Desktop Apollo test. You can also click Browse and create a new folder. You don't want to just put it on the desktop. Make sure you create a new folder for it. And then just click Finish. 
And that is your first Apollo application. If you want to test it out, just click the Run Application button. And nothing shows up, which isn't too impressive, right? But notice that this isn't running in a browser window. This just comes with your regular system shell. So if you want to actually customize it, it's not too hard. Let's just look at that real quick. Inside of the navigator, there's an XML file. It's called Apollo underscore test dash app.xml. If you open up that file, just double click it. And my code is ridiculously big. Scan through this. It's actually commented really well, so you'll be able to understand everything. But you can um, modify a few things that specify whether you have the default system Chrome or whatever, or you have the uh, Apollo version of it. So let's just check that out. So scroll down a little bit. Find line 91. Change system Chrome from standard. That's going to be your system, one from your system. So type none here, and this will give us the Apollo version. Let's just save this. Go back to Apollo test.mxml run the application and there's that cool little shell so you have created your first Apollo application and that's awesome if you use your skills that you've learned with flex then you can create an Apollo application that will run on the desktop to actually deploy your content you'll have to do something else and we'll just talk about that in another movie at another time but here is the basics of installing Apollo and creating your first application enjoy Man, I never just saw all I know Whoa.